try and be a little more positive? Sure. <laughs> it wasn't done because it wasn't uh, the money to do it and they were felt there were other more pressing needs that need to be addressed. And this is a problem that we see with infrastructure everywhere. Not, not here, but everywhere in the country. That's why we had the bridge collapse up in Minnesota. That's why we have problems all over this country because too frequently we build something and then we walk away from it and we don't maintain it. What the citizens have said here is we have a big concern about our streets and they're falling apart and we're not taking care of them. And so they pass a gross receipts tax for, for maintenance of our, of our roads. And that's a quarter percent that's been in effect and I'm happy to say we're it's finally reaching a point, I think, where people can see that we're getting the streets fixed and we're, we're then doing things to keep them fixed, not just fix them and then let them fall apart again, but are, are doing uh, maintenance programs on those streets to, to keep them in shape. Uh, the, the problem has been that the city uh, has felt that there's been other more pressing needs in the past, and uh, I think that uh, uh, the, the city and changing that philosophy. They are changing not only the streets, but the other big infrastructure item that is not nearly as visible as the streets is our water and sewer lines. And some of you may recall about three years ago we had a collapse of a major concrete sewer line that ran over by the uh, sawmill and under the tracks and served essentially the whole northern part of town. <coughs> Uh, the, the commission has been approving gradual rate increases. We're conscious of the way those affect people's pocketbooks, but they've been now been putting about a million dollars a year into the water and sewer system and upgrading our, our infrastructure. And that's not very visible stuff, and it's not stuff that makes the front page, but it, it's stuff that stops those, those sewer lines from collapsing and sewage backing up in people's houses. <coughs> stuff that stops the water line breaks from happening and the, the, getting big sinkholes like they've got up in uh, Albuquerque right now. It's, it's that proactive type work that the commission has really been uh, addressing a lot in that since, since I've uh, had the privilege of joining the city. And it's been tough. We, well, you guys probably know it. It's never easy to, to raise a price or do an increase in you, you see it, uh, and, and they're very conscious because it affects people directly in their pocketbook. But they've been the board, and we're putting a lot into our infrastructure uh, improvements, both our roads and our, our water and sewer, and getting things on you. Some of them in the water and sewer are a little more conscious. You can see up on the north side of town, we put up a, some new steel storage tanks up there. We put some new lines in so we can move the water around and equalize the pressure around the town. Uh, the, uh, some of you may not remember, but back in uh, 2000, we did some major water and sewer improvements here in town, some more tanks that were put up around town, and some more lines, mains to connect them so we could get the water around. The commission has uh, put money in to, to uh, bring three new wells online that we didn't used to have so we can make sure we've got the water. Those are all capital investments and they, they stepped up and took a lot of hits on, on doing that. But they, they've really been stepping forward to, to make this community not only to repair what didn't get done for many years, but then to, to keep it in shape once we get it repaired. How much more uh, money is going to need to be spent Uh, what we've done is we've uh, uh, got some low-cost loans for that, actually, and that's been built, I'm sorry, maybe I'm answering the wrong question. I was thinking of the, what we call our West Side Project, which were the new steel tanks and the, the lines we put in over there. But uh, you, you may be asking me about the Snake Tank Project. The Three Rivers. Yes, that's, that's what we call our Snake Tank Water Project. And that's actually where I've been all uh, day, is uh, sitting in court, uh, 
uh, listening to testimony on this particular project. At this point, uh, I'm not sure how much it's going to uh, cost us. When we analyze where we're at, the cost per acre foot <coughs> is still down about $200 per acre foot. And that's much cheaper than anybody selling water around uh, here at. So it, that appears to still be very economical to acquire the new water rights, as well as we feel that that helps develop the entire Tularosa Basin. Water is essential for, for growth in, in the Tularosa Basin, in the whole West, in the whole world. You've got to have water. If we the, the city strategy has been we want to continue to grow not just Del Magoro but the whole area. And so in line with that, what we said is we need to find new water to bring into the economy, into the mix, so we can continue to grow in, within the Tularosa Basin. If we go and buy it from someone else, we actually end up with a smaller amount of water. Isn't that interesting? A smaller amount of water in the Tularosa Basin by following that philosophy. We don't think that's good for the entire area, not just us, but for the entire basin. If we reduce the amount of water, and we especially don't think it's good because we know other water planning regions have in their plan to come to the Tularosa Basin and take water out of this basin and transport it elsewhere. So, we feel that the, the long-term future of the Tularosa Basin involves us making sure there's adequate water to sustain the industry we've got here and hopefully grow the industry further. And so, how long is it going to take? I'm not sure. Uh, what I can tell you is the price per acre foot is still relatively low. That's the legal cost to, to get through the acquisition process. Uh, what did I see today in one of my files? $10,000 an acre foot is being paid in some parts of the state. I mean, so where we're at, I know it's really expensive and they're big numbers, and I understand that. But uh, economically, it's actually we're paying very little. And once we own it, we own it. All of us own it. Once we own it, we own it. It's not like when we buy bulk water and we pay for it for 20 years. And then at the end of 20 years, we paid out all this money, and what have we got? Nothing. So that was part of the city commission's uh, interest early on, is we felt that water is such an essential resource that it was important that the city government, for the people of El Magordo, own that resource and have it available for the future. Did that answer your question? Yes. So I don't have an exact number. I don't know. At this point, it still appears that this is the most economical way to acquire the future 